Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am in the process of doing my curly girl wash and I thought that I would do an update, let you know how I'm getting on. If this is the first video you've seen of mine, then go and check out starting the curly girl method. Okay, so that will talk you through exactly what it is, the products that you need, what you have to do, it's the simplest video out there because I tried to find out what to do and I couldn't. So I worked it out and I made a video so that further down the line, other people could find it and work it out easier than I did. I am a year into my curly girl journey though and I've had so many people asking for updates that I thought I would share how I'm getting on, the pitfalls that I have come across and the process that I use today. If you don't already know me, then my name is Katie and I am a mum of three. And this channel is all about real life, real decluttering, real tidying, real food, real families, real style, real me. Um, I'm fed up of the fakery that is out there on the internet. So this is a real space where you can come and hopefully feel like oh she's just like me. So like I said I started the curly girl method a year ago. My hair was wavy um, and if I would let it dry naturally then it would have a natural kink to it almost not a ringlet but just sort of well I think it's called an S wave like that and I discovered the curly girl method just by random events and I thought oh I wonder if I can do that and my hair got healthier and healthier like I said check out the first video um, for tips on how to get started and things like that and it was all going really well and then I dyed my hair. It's like one of the cardinal sins of the curly girl method. It's like, don't use chemicals on your hair. But I really wanted highlights in my hair. So yeah, I had an ombre. So my natural brown on top with the blonde bits put in the, the bottom and my hair is in sad, sad times or it has been for the last little while and so this is why I have this on my head now this isn't just because as a rescue method for if you've ruined your hair with hair dye um this is something that you can do every couple of weeks every month when you feel like your hair just needs a bit more nourishment you pop your hair in one of these just a normal shower cap because the sweatiness that happens when you wear a shower cap helps the conditioner to like absorb into your hair it just helps your hair absorb it better um i think uh, but it works so regardless of the science so that's what it, that's what it is so i have put on some deep conditioning conditioner it's like slathered it all over my hair really really like squelched it in and then I put this on my head and I've had this on my head for well over half an hour already and then as I'm talking here this will add to the time as well so what I thought I would do is go through the products that I use today um the first video I ever did was like the entire process but these days I cut right down to the bare minimum because I just don't have time. But these are the products that have to be used to get the effect. So the conditioner that I have got on my hair right now, this is the Ultimate Blends, the Garnier Ultimate Blends. And I'm using the, uh, was it? oh, banana, the banana flavour one. So, um, well, banana scented one, don't eat it. Um, there's also a papaya one that I sometimes use. And if that's sold out, then I get this one. And both of these are Curly Girl approved. Um, so, yeah, I literally just like slap it all on, put it under here. I've run out of conditioner. Um, that is what you usually use to wash your hair in. Um, but actually you can still use this. So you can either use it as a hair mask, as I'm doing now, or just a normal, just wash your hair in conditioner. Because remember, we don't use shampoo. So yeah, I, there's no point in using a separate conditioner. This is fine. Hair mask and conditioner for the washing. Now I found that my hair, so my hair is 
brown, naturally brown. It has got a natural S wave to it with the bare minimum, but it does go to a ringlet with deep conditioning and care. Um, but so, so that's the sort of hair that I have and I've no idea how to translate that to your hair but that's my hair is brown so brown hair is naturally um a better condition than blonde hair and i have an s wave so it's it's sort of halfway wavy to curly i would say but my hair does not cope if i do not at some point cleanse it so i have found that i got a build up of conditioner and my hair would just get really limp and it just didn't look nice basically and i went for a good six months thinking maybe it'll just improve maybe it'll and it just got worse and worse and worse so what i do now is every two weeks or every three weeks now remember i only wash my hair once a week so every two to three washes i will use this this is the Pantan Hair Biology Cleanse and Reconstruct. And there are other cleansers that you can use, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, ooh, use this one, but this one works for me and my local shop sold it. So uh, it's Pantan Hair Biology Cleanse and Reconstruct. And it's not as harsh as a normal shampoo. This is still Curly Girl approved. I think um but it just cleanses all of that conditioner off so that you can start again and for me every two to three washes i have to do this otherwise it really does just build up and build up so if i was doing a cleansing wash i'd use the cleanser get it all off like strip it down almost then i would do the conditioner then this is my absolute favorite thing in the entire world it's the cantu styling custard i love this I love it so much, it just, I don't know how it works. I wish I could tell you how it works, I don't know, but you praying hands, pop it onto all of your hair, and then, and I'll show you the process afterwards, like twist the bits that naturally want to come together, twist them together, and then scrunch it up. And that, for, for however, well, however it works, by some sort of magic, seems to be the golden ingredient needed to make your hair want to stay in a curl. I will then dry my hair with a towel. By drying my hair with a towel, I don't mean like like that. I mean just like gently, just like squeeze some of the moisture out. Not all of the moisture, just some of the moisture. And then I use this. This is the VO5 Mega Hold Styling Gel. And I will put a big old blob and, and I will, the hair, remember I've just used the custard and it's in curls. So I will rub the gel in my hand and scrunch like this into my hair uh and that sort of like the gel just goes where it wants to go around um the curls and that's it okay that's the product so i condition every now and again i cleanse but mainly i condition i custard i gel and that is my process so what i'm going to go and do now i'm going to go and rinse this off i will show you the custard going into the hair and what i mean by twisting each of the like strands and then i will come back and show you how i dry my hair now so i the curly girl method says no heat i just can't cope can't cope without that so this is like this is what i do now leave a little bit of conditioner you can leave this in as well so I'm going to just do that just to just add a little bit more moisture to my hair and then the, the very important thing is to use a Denman brush um, to brush your hair this is the only time I brush my hair so make it count and what this does is just gets rid of any dead hair that hasn't been able to fall out because of the curls and the lack of brushing and so by brushing your hair it's it separates the strands but it also then helps them to clump together naturally so i can see that these ones are the same shape so they will naturally want to go together like that and you can see now that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six strands. Six strands that follow the same pattern and I'm going to use the custard 
to a big blob of custard to just slap it on each strand so each bit gets a good bit of custard like that and just twist them round give them a squidge a good amount of custard and they are twisted into the same pattern with similar strands and we're ready for the next bit really i need to be having my head like right over so i'm gonna try not to look at you um, but i gently now just squidge some moisture out um making sure i don't disturb the curl patterns there so they're just still all nicely in their, their shape. And then it's time for the gel, which I'm running low on gel. God, it's glued itself shut. Oh, there we go. So what I do is I rub it all between my hands and then I scrunch, but with the gel in my hands so that as I scrunch each curl upwards, it's being covered by my hands and put my towel down so each strand or each curl formation will get a good coating of gel make sure when you curl up that you try and keep the curls together like that and you're also as you're squidging you're helping like your hair to squidge in the moisture like that so my hair now it's got gel on it it's got the custard on it and like i said curly girl method might say gently diffuse or leave to dry i have not got time for that i have not got time i'm a mum of three i have things to do i've got a puppy now um so i'm going to diffuse my hair and i'm going to show you exactly what that looks like so i've got this big diffuser it's a universal one as well i'll try and find the link for it and put it down so it fits on any pretty much any um thing and then i start off down like central and then i'll just show you without the sound uh, of the hair dryer so i i put the ends like this and i sort of help it to curl along up and then i will put that on my head like that <laughs> but head down, not like a crazy person, like a hat. And then I will hold that in position for 30 seconds or so. Then I will release and I will do the next side and I work at the front. And then once I've done the front, I will tilt my head over this way and repeat. So, um, and then I will tilt my head this way and repeat that way as well. So I'll speed it up now, take the sound of the hairdryer away so you can see what I do. Ballsed up my hair, um, but 
every wash I do now, I'm doing a deep condition to try and recover that. But you can see that the gel where I've been holding the curl in position as I've been drying it, so these haven't been crunched out yet or scrunched out, um, so these are the hard curls that once my hair is fully dry I will like squidge it and break the cast. The cast is the gel over it and um, the gel will melt away as I crunch it out and leave soft bouncy curls. So you can see um, they're still a little bit wet and they they look wetter than they are because of the the gel and the hard cast. But um, yeah, there's certain bits like this, look. <laughs> I do not recommend putting blonde dye in your hair when you're trying to make your hair nice and conditioned. I mean, that's obvious, obviously. Um, but yeah, you can see that, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad if I hide the straight bits. Um, but it is recovering. It's much better than it was. Oh my God. Um, so that's it, that's basically all I do now. Um, I will probably dry it a little bit more, but for the sake of the video, I was getting bored. So um, I will dry that a little bit more with the diffuser and then good to go. I hope that's been useful. I hope that it has inspired you to carry on. If you are feeling like your curls are greasy, they're weighed down, then definitely start introducing a cleanser every other couple of washes. And if you feel like your curls don't dry well, if you naturally dry them, try a diffuser and try doing it the way that I've done it and you might find that you get ringlets too. See you again soon, bye.